Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and uh, update you guys with the leveling progress. Um, I've been playing on this character for not too long. This is about 3 hours and 30 minutes in. Nothing too crazy. We're level 45 and we're about halfway through Cruel Difficulty. And I'm using all of the leveling gear that I kind of showed you guys from that previous video. Um, I don't remember where the tab was. Here we go. So I've got my Gold Rim, my Double Mokus, my Nagamus. I use a Troll Timber as well. Um, as a Dark Seer, and then these are just random gloves that are crafted. Seven League Step, which can be swapped out for Wanderlust, Belt of the Deceiver. Um, and yeah, my flask setup is pretty unoptimal and unethical, as you could say. I'm running three white Quicksilvers, just kidding. Actually, this is a remove freeze, because you know, if you don't have this, you'll die to Shaper. Um, and then just two bubbling flasks that is pretty irrelevant. Also, my tree looks exactly the same as stated on the actual tree. Uh, for the leveling guide, everything is pretty much the same. We just went ahead and picked up our Mind Over Matter and our <clears throat> Inspiration. So I'm going to move in and grab Shamanistic Fury and then probably Purity of Flesh. Uh, potentially grab Sovereignty because Mono Reservation actually is like Effective Life with Mind Over Matter. And then we'll move on, grab Elemental Equilibrium and move in as we were stating before. So probably come through around here, uh, grab the Hybrid Life and Melding, grab Heart and Soul, Blast Radius, maybe move across, grab Influence, plus Written in Blood, and we'll see anyway. But that's not for right now. So, as for the progress with the character, uh, the links are as followed. Increased AoE, Burn Damage, Righteous Fire, Ellie Focus, Rapid Decay, Spell Totem. For bossing, I simply swap Ink AoE with Conk. Um, and realistically, if you want to like Super Min Max, you would also go ahead and swap Dark Seers, um, which I'll show you guys on Vol really fast. So let me go ahead and continue clearing with where we're at. It's actually super smooth for leveling. Um, our resistances are capped because we run Purity of Fire along with Purity of Elements, which just helps our totems survive more. Um, and yeah, it's, like I said, it's really smooth. As well, if you wanted to boost out and get some extra single target on the character, you could go ahead and get like a three or four link searing bond going. Um, but I think that's kind of like not really too necessary, and I'll show you here in a second. So we're going to swap in the Darks here for the extra 70% increased damage, swap in our Conk instead of an Ink AoE, and we should be good to go for Vault. I don't know exactly how fast he'll die. Remember, we still do have some damage nodes to pick up with Shamanistic Fury. Elemental Equilibrium is pretty huge as well. Alright, so we're going to go ahead, throw a Vault Lightning Trap down, Searing Bond, uh, remember these RF totems do not actually stack their degens, um, but yeah, this is pretty much the kill speed of it, and he almost died already. This is also without elemental overload, uh, which would be that 40% multiplier to damage as well. That's always something to kind of think about. So this character, like I said before, levels super, super smooth. Uh, very, very easy. I, I actually went RF totems at about level... 16 I think whenever you could use RF It was a bit odd at first. It wasn't nearly as fast um, I would definitely recommend waiting for ancestral bonds So maybe like in your low 20s um, the best the best time in my opinion to transition would be level 31 Because that's when you get all of your support gems um, And as for what you can level with before then just like fire trap or really anything works oh, And before like 14 exalts and seven mares of Kalandra drop Hey, man, that's actually not too bad. So uh, not what I was looking for, but still pretty good. And uh, the totems actually take quite a bit of time to degen as well, as you can see. That's pretty good. Like, that, pretty much that clear speed, like, killed Vault. Not clear speed, but that kill speed, like, the totem duration or the totem length. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to keep you guys updated, like I said, with uh, the character progression. I'll see if I can get you guys another video, either of me transitioning to Low Life Righteous Fire, or maybe like my progression in Dried Lake before I transition, um, to show you guys like how it works in Dried Lake to level up, you know, the last like 10, 15, 20 levels. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. Remember, for the build command, all you got to do is look in the uh, comments. I usually write a little bio and attach the build there as well. It's also found in the description. Like I said before, hope you guys have a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.